what's up guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to use automation in cubase so we'll look at automation to do with volume we we'll also look at automation to do with panning how you can pan your vocals on certain areas in the mix left and right using automations we we'll also look at reverb automations we we'll also look at delay automations and how you can automate your auto tune I'm going to put time markers in the description. You can just click on the time marker and go directly to what you want to learn. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Hi, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to show your automations. So if you can look at my mix right now, there is no automation anywhere. Let's say, for example, we want to add some automation to this track here. All we have to do is uh, click on the track and then just right click and go to show automation. So if I click on that, you'll notice that another track under this is going to show up here. So this track that we see here is our automation track. So we'll make changes on this line right here, which will affect the vocal in this audio track right here. And this is where you choose the parameter that you want to automate. Is it the volume? Is it uh, the panning? Or is it the plugins down here, which I'm going to explain as we go. So now we can look at volume automations. Let's say, for example, we want to automate this vocal right here. At some point, to either go on mute or reduce in volume or anything that we want to do with the volume level. So what we do is show automation, which is right click, then go to show automation. Once this automation track comes here, all you have to do is click here and then select volume. So if you can see right here, right now, it, the, our volume is at zero, which is just the normal. For example, if I show you this, our track here is at zero, which is what is being represented by this. So meaning there's no reduction in volume for our clip. So let's say, for example, I want it to play the way it is at this point and then reduce in volume here. So this is what you do. First of all, you click this arrow here to enable read. If you don't click this, your automation will not be read by the program. So you need to click this in order for the program to read your automation. So what you do is write on this line. So just click to create a point also uh, because we're dealing with this segment here i'll make a point here then i'll make another point here so i'm going to deal with whatever is in between here and the reason why i've made a point in the beginning and at the end of where i want to automate is so that i don't affect the rest of uh the level of volume of the other side because if i if i do anything here you will notice that i'm only affecting this part nothing else here is happening because of these points that i've created initially this is here and the volume is just okay but i want this part here to reduce so i'll just keep on creating these dots and do this so if i bend it like this this means i've reduced the volume to if i put this down here you notice that this is now negative 3.54 if i reduce it further down you see that it reduces more if i reduce it more you see that it reduces more here it's at zero point something here negative nine so if i play this so you can notice that at this point the volume reduces because of what i've made here now let's say for example you want your volume level to be rising starting from the bottom as this goes it keeps on rising so what you do is create this 
and then just do this because down here you've reduced it all the way almost removing the volume and then as it goes it rises so let's just play this so that is it the volume rises from here going all the way and this line right here goes all the way throughout the mix so meaning you can make some more automations here as you go so you can make some automations here you can also make some other automations here so this is how you deal with volume automations if you are not clear about this please make sure you comment in the comment section below maybe i might just explain more about it if this is not enough so to delete these points if let's say for example you want to delete the point like this one all you have to do is click the point then press delete on your keyboard click the point press delete click the point press delete also these points can be moved so this point is here i can just click and then move it click and move the points like that so now that we are done with volume automations let's now look at how you can pan your vocal in certain areas to the left and to the right using automation i'm going to use this vocal down here to demonstrate this so just like we said to show automation on this vocal what you do is right click and then go to show automation once you do that you click and select the parameter that you want to automate so i'll do this and then i'll go to standard pan pan left and right and then i'll just uh, zoom my automation a little bit so make sure the arrow is selected so that you enable read so if i play this let me just play the vocal without uh, doing anything so you notice that on the standard pan you have a c here which stands for center meaning the vocal is centered it's not panned to the left or to the right so when we start making changes this will start changing here so i'll start with panning left only and then right only then i'm going to show you how you can pan make a vocal come from the left and then finishes from the right i'll create this and just do that so i've taken this all the way to the left and then i want to take this other one all the way to the right so if i play this so for this type of effect make sure you have maybe your headsets that are properly functioning left and right for you to hear this or you have your speakers left and right so let me play this once again so now i'm going to show you how you can pan your vocal make it start from the left then finishes over to the right or from the right to the left so all you have to do is uh, get this and make this so what this means is that this point right here is all the way to the right so you see that effect or it can be opposite you can do the same here All right guys so basically this is how you use automation to pan your vocal left and right